Hi, hi. At the Goodwill. Let's go see what's going on. Got my Ikea bag and my little cut up blankets, covers. My drink, of course. Goodwill of Colorado. Kelly Johnson, so the music's going to be a little loud. I'm going to look at lamps and then backtrack to hard goods. Any good lampshades? That's interesting. It's a contemporary made piece, but with the vintage vibes, seems to be missing the insert. May or may not be hard to reconcile. <laughs> Some more contemporary made, but with a mid-mod style. Let me back up, sorry about 18 inch candle holders dang I kind of like that even though they're modern only $5.99 a piece this one's a little crooked they're awfully heavy I mean really heavy acrylic ball I might do that here we go Again, I'm at Kelly Johnson, you guys, so Neil, here's an owl, but you know music's a little loud. <laughs> I haven't been here for a while just because of that. Oh, a little piece of Raku. Somebody just said they needed a small piece of Raku to go with their collection. Um, I think they wanted square, but still, regardless, we're going to get that. Oh, I did get those, you guys. I did get them. basket silver plated I think I've seen that at home goods that right there y'all there's another interesting put a little tea warmer or something underneath it well wow, that one's more interesting it needs polished up Dang, I kind of like that. <laughs> Everything there, seven ninety nine. Let me think about that. I kind of like this particular one. It's a pretty little vintage dish. Few too many problems. It is on sale though, 30% off. Green is 30% off. It's just not quite right. Contemporary there in the back. A cloisonne ball. Let's check this out. It was, looks like it was a part of something. $1.99. It was a part of something and it's missing. Oh, it's Christmas ornament. It's all flocked. Can't tell if that's been upcycled. Look at his little face. $2.99. That one's pretty rough. But you guys know some of those can sell for pretty good money, depending on the artist. <laughs> Thing of coal. Nice gong. Okay, I'm a sucker for deers. These are not on sale. Looks like they came from Target or something. $2.99, that's a bit much. They might even be Greenbrier, actually. Sorry, they might, yeah, I think that actually is Greenbrier. So I'm not gonna pay $2.99. Okay, I'm gonna get this, though. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm just gonna save it. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. 30% off. I'd have to look that up to know. Mark Brunel. Clueless. Yes, on the poodle. I'm getting it, you guys. Gotta get it out carefully. It's got a broken little foot. How much are you, though? $1.79? I still kind of <laughs> want you. I'll upcycle you in one of my plants. Or use it in an assemblage. 25th anniversary metal and ceramic flower made in China. 
just a vintage look. Today's Tuesday, you guys. Today's Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday the 10th. Senior day is at the Ark. Four colors, half price. I don't know what it is here. Teacher or something? But the Ark is just down the street, the first one. That's where I just came from. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's kind of different. Do I want that? $2.99 or $1.99? If it had mushrooms with it, that would be an easy yes. Glass teddy bear, $2.99, maybe. Don't think that's a Fenton or anything, but I better double check. The bottom is smooth, but it's not super polished. That's why I'm saying that, but we'll check it out. Ireland. Louise well, Calby, some kind of Irish name. Um, handmade pottery in Ireland. $1.99. I might do that. $1.99. So I might do that because I'm kind of wanting to do a show where we do pottery and glass from around the world. I think that's an interesting idea. Upcycled camel. Put some bling on it. <laughs> Is that Temptations? Yes, okay. Just had to check and make sure. <laughs> Someone's fused glass. Only $1.99? That might be commercially made fused glass though. Which doesn't interest me as much. mosaic cupcake you guys okay those ladies that I was talking to they are just having like a ladies lunch thrifting adventure so they're just like giggling and everything it was cool in one way because it covers up the music but then they really started getting pretty rowdy so here's a few pieces I pulled and then I just come over to the next section that we'll do in a second I know this has a chip but it's 30% off and it's a Royal Hager that might be part of the earth wrap. And this is an Oiz Azul that you guys taught me. And the reason I realize I'm finding so much of it is because it's made in Colorado. This is awesome. In the car you go. And I'm on the fence about this. I normally pass on stuff like this, but how much was it? $4.99? Darn, it is chipped. It's the color. This one has like, I don't know if I can capture it. There. You see that marbleized sheen? It's like a greenish gold marbleized sheen. I better not with that chip though for that price. But that one was tempting. Alright, let me back up for you guys. So we're going to do this other half now. Painted seashell. This looks kind of older. Hobbyist piece. But I like to get things of all different skin tones for my booth. Kind of a Jim Shore copy. I'm almost sure that is not Jim Shore enough. Yeah, look, $5 wherever it was. Like Dollar General or something. $3.99 for a real Okay, if I can fix that if that if I can get that to be right, I think I'll get that. That's a brass bell Just let me put it over here for a minute so we can stay ahead of The fun ladies lunch crowd <laughs> Adorable $1.99 Yes, it's got a birth. Yes, it's got a birthmark. I can't read it, but it's got a birthmark. It's super cute. I'm gonna put it there. 
only a dollar ninety nine and these little pictures seem to do well out of the booth I don't really bother with eBay on them because you know it's a smaller price item alchemy hmm. $2.99 maybe if it was a little cheaper love you but you're cracked We'll have to pass on that. Let's see what's down here. It's an unusual piece of pottery. And it is marked. Trying to stay ahead of things here. Seven ninety nine. How did that happen to you? Oh, I see. Victoria Ceramics made in Japan. $7.99 though. Oh, can't do that. Plastic corn. Home goods owl. Well, you're interesting. Okay, is this Mexican pottery? You are very interesting. Mexico, yeah. Okay, $3.99. If she's in good condition, that's a yes. That's a definite yes. She's about eight inches tall. It's cute. Snoopy. Okay, we're fixing to get joined. That's a nice piece of pottery. Ooh, signed. $3.99. Hmm. Let me think about that one. Okay, your adorable little candy box. Made in Hong Kong. That's older. 1985, $1.79. You are adorable. Look at that. Little cardboard candy box, you guys. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> I am not getting I'm at Candles. And the ladies club is on the other side, so you probably hear them. Oh, what is that? It's so cute. Bath and Body Works, so that's contemporary. $2.99. Look, you guys, though. Woodland creatures everywhere. I'm going to get this to upcycle somehow a squirrel and a deer and a fox owl love it careful my glasses here okay Let's see Let's take another quick peek down low just to be on the safe side okay I'm gonna get over to my vases oh wait a minute that looks like a how much is this? $1.99? That looks... That's a different shape of candles. Metallic velvet. I think I want these. Think about that. I think I want those. Guess what? Something awesome. Another piece of Raku. 1988. Wait a minute, is that Raku? I think so. It's just a different way of doing it. Maybe not fired as long. I don't know. I'll check into that. Make sure I know what I'm talking about. Regardless, it's going in the cart. And as I turned the corner, I found this interesting piece. This is a wall plaque. And I guess you could say wall pocket because it's got these little jars with it. Just showing you guys up close. And $4.99. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get that. Someone's a little hand painted pot. Let's just see how they did. I better pass. That one too. Okay. She's restocking knickknacks, so I'll come back later. Let's see Mexican pottery. Home good seashell mosaic. Okay, I don't see anything old. 
and those. Check all the pots here, of course. Everything's fairly contemporary on all of these pots. Okay, I did check them out very carefully. Not that there's not some cute stuff, believe me. But it's all fairly contemporary. So now I'm just wanting to backtrack. I wanted to look at these. I like that. Dollar. Hey, that's actually reasonable. They're in a good mood this week. I might get these. That's pretty reasonable. I like the little wildflower sprigs and things like this. Those wouldn't come out, so they're not sold separate. Okay, that was kind of fun. Again, all contemporary, but I am kind of liking that enamel pitcher, metal pitcher. This is usually another fun aisle, of course. Um, I grabbed this off the end cap. I believe this is a Blendo, right? It's 30% off, so even though it's not perfect, I've got it up front, I want to think about it. But I think that's a Blendo bowl. I've sold their glasses, of course. See if there's any cute salt and pepper shakers for us. I do see some Ray Dunn. $1.99 and $2.99. I don't think I want either of those. I don't know, there's something about ever since 2020, I'm really became conscious of like, things have to be covered up. No more punch bowls and open things. <laughs> I want things covered. So I'm going to support my theory. Luxar. I've been there. That was fun. Luxar, Las Vegas. <laughs> okay. Don't see anything. I feel like I have to have. They priced their salt and pepper shakers separately. So two dollars a piece so it's kind of got to be something pretty darn cool because you know salt and pepper shakers average make what ten dollars or so unless it's something super cool that is a nice little strawberry piece even though it's contemporary anyway so I don't want to buy in at four dollars for salt and pepper shakers Unless I'm feeling real comfortable, confident. These are vintage. Pyrex. Um, 70s, I believe. I think my mom had these. Okay. I think we're going to have to find someplace else to look. Let's see, maybe rounder tops. Here's a contemporary Pyrex. Wow, this is so new and look already the paint's coming off. And I did buy a set because I'm thinking well when that pattern sold out you know when it's gone it's gone. So I did buy a set but it's not selling out of the booth. Just the vintage Pyrex. Took a chance. Looking for cut glass. Nope. I don't think I added anything else. I did put back the Blendo bowl. It's just too scratched up. Um, the angel, she's okay. So we're gonna get that Mexican angel. I just added some cream that was still brand new and sealed. Yeah, I'm happy though with what I have. Feeling pretty good about it. Let me show you some artwork. It's all pretty contemporary. That one's kind of cool though. Let's see who this is. Michael Delacroix. I'm going to turn the camera for you guys. <laughs> there we go. 
Michael Delacroix. I don't see any like hand painted. There is one I'm interested in because I'm going to do an Air Force display. So this is kind of cool. Thunder in the Canyon. Yeah. If you live where I live, when they're practicing the Thunderbirds for like an event here by the Air Force Academy, um, oh my gosh, it rattles my windows, but I enjoy living here, so not that big of a deal. It's so pretty here. Okay, well, I think that's all, you guys. I will talk to you later. I hope you had a little bit of fun today. Let me know if there's something you want to catch before it goes anywhere.